The goofiest vehicle to come in this update is probably the CTWV RCV for Japan. And don't worry, you don't have to grind out the entire Japanese tech tree to use this thing. It is a squadron vehicle. I know a lot of you guys are probably asking yourselves right now, how do you even do that little up down thingy with the commander periscope? And it's as easy as binding radar on and off. Moving on, this is a 9.7 light tank placed in the Japanese tech tree at rank 7. And this thing is all about no armor best armor because it has spall liners literally everywhere. Just like me and your mom, you know? It can reach a top speed of 100 kilometers per hour in realistic battles. A majority of your playtime in this thing is going to be just running around the map being a menace using that speed and taking dart rounds like nothing. You can kind of pair it with your periscope and kind of get an advanced view of the battlefield before you go bum rushing in. As for the offensive armament, you do just get a 30mm Bushmaster. It's nothing special in this BR bracket, but if you do get on the side of enemies, it's kind of over for them. And of course, with the Bushmaster, you do get darts and APDS. The funny thing is with the APDS belts, it actually does more post-pen damage. So it might be worth taking a few of these just in case you do see those light targets. In addition, you do have access to LWS, so you'll know if you're getting range found, so you can kind of just dip out real quick. For the most part though, you will struggle penning things frontally unless you know where to hit, and you'll struggle with the size of this thing because it's quite hunky for being a light tank. Overall, it's a pretty decent thing to pick up.